Hello, everyone. Welcome to this webinar on Zoho People. I'm Annie. I work for the Zoho People team. And today I have picked a new useful topic, and I'm sure it's going to help you all get the best out of Zoho People. Before we get started, please note that you're in the listen only mode. If you have any questions in the course of the webinar, you can type them in the question bar that you see in your screen. I have our product experts with me to answer them right away. So let's get started. So the topic for today is on automation, how you can automate your redundant yet important HR tasks. In this webinar, we will be learning the basics of automation and how you can put it to use to benefit your organization. So this is going to be my agenda for today. So we'll see why we need automation in the realm of human resources. And then what are the automation aspects of Zoho people? The major part of this webinar is going to be a live demo where I'll be walking you through the automation elements of Zoho people. And I'll also show you how to create a mail alert. How to create a checklist with tasks. How to configure field updates that is automatic field filling option in Zoho people and also how to create a workflow. So let's dive into the topic now. So why do we need automation? Right from signing offer letters to filing exit feedback, HR personnel face numerous repetitive tasks and these, they do take a toll on productivity. So with all of this featuring hire to retire, Human resources needs automation more than any other field of work out there. So automation is the answer to getting monotonous work done with increased accuracy and also ease. So let's see what HR personnel have got to say about this. So you might be wondering what this pie chart is all about. So a new survey conducted by the Business Wire suggests that a whooping 72% of HR professionals say that lack of automation hinders business success and only 28% chose to differ. So more than a new trend in the HR realm, automation is more of a necessary trend. So now that we know why we need automation, let me quickly give you five reasons as to why we need automation. In this fast paced world, we're all turning towards technology for most of our processes, and we have to say that it is efficient. So with human resources dealing with forms filling, details to be recorded and maintained, even reminders and mails to be sent, automation makes it all accurate. It also minimizes data theft risk with increased accountability. There's always this preconceived notion that automation takes out the human touch or the human part, part out of human resources. But actually, automation takes care of your redundant yet import, important task so that you can focus on what really matters, that is your humans or your people. And also, it is little to no errors when it comes to less manual interference. In a new Gartner study, HRBP scored that they want to spend 20% more time, that is one full day of work each work week on strategic work. So by strategic work, they mean to plan for the wellness of your, their organization and more. So when they want this extra time, some of the work that they currently do has to be automated 
or at least delegated or even taken off their plates, right? So automation comes in here as the solution that is cost saving as well. Now, picture your workforce in the coming years. Do you see growth? Do you see a business looking to scale? And do you also see a paper dependent or manual processes? So how hard it would be with the growing workforce? So if yes, then definitely it is our time to automate that too with a simple tool like Zoho People. And ultimately, all of this is aimed at increasing your productivity as a HR personnel or administrator and even the productivity of your employees as well. So this is where Zoho People gets into the picture. Zoho People lets you automate your HR processes with fully customizable smart options for a happy and productive workforce. So let's see the automation elements of Zoho People. So what do we have in store? So we've got mail alerts so you can stay connected with your employees. You can configure a variety of mail alerts like uh, be it birthday messages or even work anniversaries to build rapport or even probation notices and termination alerts so that they convey vital information. Zoho people also features workflows to flawlessly complete your HR processes. For instance, you can map a complete set of actions to be triggered by a specific event such as an employee joining your organization and the rest is the work of workflows. We've also got automated blueprints which is which hand holds your employees or users even while they are filling forms in Zoho people. We've also got smart approval options so you can save time approving and even sending mails. You can even have automated schedulers that automatically run for reports or even periodic mails. We also have checklists and tasks to track to track and enforce HR actions so you do not miss out on any important action. Other than this, we can also help you with any custom requirement of yours using custom functions to automate your processes and also web books for any custom integrations or seamless integrations. So we've also got automated field of updates. That is any field in any form in Zoho people can be automatically updated so that you do not have to go and update them manually. In this webinar, I'll be covering these in detail in a step by step manner. So for a better understanding, I've split the automation features. So in this webinar, I'll be demoing all of these. Whereas in the upcoming webinar, I'll be covering the rest of the automation features of Zoho People. So in this webinar, I'll be showing you how to cre create mail alerts, create automated field updates, create checklists, checklists and related tasks as well, and map all of these actions to workflows, and also how to create trigger actions for workflows. I'll be showing you to set up and automate some basic day-to-day -day activities that you do as HRs. So I've picked uh, four scenarios here, which are like very common, which you carry out even in your day-to-day -day work. So the first scenario is this. So how to automatically send a mail alert when an employee completes his or her probation. With the vast workforce, it would be hard to remember your employee's date of joining and then calculate your probation period and also send emails based on that and so. So let me show you how to automate this. So, so what you'll be needing is an employee form with the date of joining field in it. So this is a default form available in Zoho People. So what are the steps involved? 
a mail alert is created in the first place. A workflow for the employee form is created. The created mail alert is mapped to the workflow. And as a result, the mail gets triggered based on the date of joining of the employee. So let's go over to the product where I'll be showing you how to actually set this up in Zoho People. So I have my Zoho People account in here. So from the home page, you have to go to the settings part, which is the gear icon right here. So this will be visible or accessible only for administrators of Zoho People account. So you can set processes for your employees. So let's get to settings. And you got automation right here. And under automation, let's go to workflows. So now for our scenario, let's go and add a new workflow. So under automation, workflows, click add workflow. So workflows are form specific. So for any form that you choose here, the workflow will, will work based on this. So this is how it works. And every workflow has two parts to it. So one is the trigger process. That is whenever any of these actions happen to this particular form, a set of actions will be automatically triggered. For example, Whenever a new employee is joining or whenever a HR creates a new record in the employee form, you can have a new mail alert trigger or any of these actions or so. So this is the basic working principle behind this. So let's start with creating one. So I've picked my form name in here. So I'm going to name my workflow. So since this is a probation confirmation one, so I'll name it so. So ensure that the status is active. So if you'd like to type in a description, you can type so. And now, so there are two types of trigger process here. So one is that any of these actions would trigger the workflow or it can be based on a date. So in this case of probation confirmation, it is going to be based on the employee's date of joining. So I'm going to pick execute based on date here. And here enter the field name, which is the date of joining here. So these are basically form fields. So the employees form fields will be auto populated here. So here you have the date of joining. So based on the date of joining, the workflow will auto calculate the probation period and trigger the mail. So under date of execution, Say for example, if your probation period would be six months, then the mail alert would be triggered after six months. So from the date of joining of the employee after six months, the confirmation email will be automatically sent. So you can choose the time of execution as well, and you can choose from the frequency as well. So this is going to be a one time event for any employee in their life cycle. So I pick one time in here. And if required, you can even set any criteria here. For example, if their probation is confirmed or extended or any such case, you can deal with it in here. And now for the action. So I would like to send a confirmation mail alert to my employees. So you can map existing ones or you can create a new one. So let me show you how to create a new mail alert. So I click on the plus icon in here. So the form name is auto selected. And here, this is going to be my mail alert name. And under from, you can choose the default email address here from the drop down. So this is the address that is set in your company profile in Zoho People. Or you can have a custom email address as well. So click on the plus icon and type in any address. 